this is a video advertisement from Build-A-Bear Workshop. Keep watching for a spooky, scary story. Ooh. Whoa, am I a cartoon? We can do anything we want. Cool! Welcome back to the workshop with Erin and Lindsay. Today we're telling our best stories from sleepovers as cartoons. Mine is kind of scary. Ooh, I can't wait. Mine is pretty funny. Maybe I should go first so we can end on the funny one. Good idea. Ooh. I promise it won't be too scary. Good, I can't handle that super scary stuff. So, last year, me and my four best friends were at my friend Kayla's house. It was really normal. We all had pizza for dinner and then went up to the third floor of her house where she had this huge playroom. We were watching TV and there was like a phone noise that kept going off. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. My friend Kayla just told us that it was the sound of their video doorbell. Ding, ding, ding. She showed us on her tablet what she was talking about. The second she opened the app, we all saw something. Like something moved in front of the door and then was gone. Now, everyone was really freaked out. My other friend, Andrea, said we should just watch the movie and forget about it. But there was no way we were gonna take our eyes off the app. We waited by the app for another notification of motion at the door. And then, bing, 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 we tapped on it, and Kayla took a screenshot. There on the tablet was a ghostly figure. We all screamed, ah, and threw the tablet. Nobody slept a wink that night. When we got up, we showed Kayla's parents. Her dad scratched his head and then went outside. And there on the camera was a moth. A really pretty moth, too. We all laughed. <laughs> I think everyone took a nap after that. <laughs> wow, you got me so scared there. I thought it was like, I don't know, like a ghost or something. Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> OK, well, mine isn't close to that, but I still think it's pretty funny. This is a funny story. You don't need that. <laughs> okay, so last summer, I slept over at my friend Michelle's house. And before dinner, Michelle was like, let's go out and play in the slip and slide in my backyard. We were having a lot of fun, but then Michelle said, I know a way to make the slip and slide go even faster, like a cheetah zoom, that knows karate. ka <laughs> We'll put soap on it. So we ran into her house and got some soap from her sister's bathroom and poured it all over the slide. Boy, was she right. We went so fast on it. The soap was blue and we got it all over us, but we didn't care because we were having so much fun. We were like, wow, this is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> when it was time for dinner, Michelle's mom then called, girls, it's time to come in. And we were like, oh, do we have to? But then her mom like did like the real angry look like that moms do, you know? And we were like, we better listen to her. So before we went inside, we had to wash off with the hose though, so we didn't track it all over the house. But when we cleaned the soap off, the bright blue color was still there. What? <laughs> yeah. And we both looked at each other and we're like, oh no, it's not coming off. <laughs> So finally, we went inside and told her mom what had happened. And she looked at the bottle of soap and freaked out. She said, this isn't soap. This is your sister's blue hair dye. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. And we were so blue. <laughs> it took almost a week for the blue to go away from our skin. We wow. scrubbed and scrubbed and nothing happened. Everyone called us the blueberries that summer. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Well, those were some fun stories. Super fun. Okay, friends, don't forget to subscribe to Build-A-Bear TV if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. And as a reminder, this was advertising from Build-A-Bear Workshop. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>